Hey guys, and welcome to episode 18 of FTB University, where uh, in between episodes I've just made a slightly better looking altar. Now apparently you only need eight of these arcane pedestals, so I got rid of the couple of extras we had and just uh, did a slightly different setup, which eh, turned out okay. It turned out okay. And we've got our jars. Jars over here with some a couple of different things. Uh, because we needed for the Boots of the Traveller, a hundred volatus and a feather, which I just realized I've used all my feathers. Well, we'll, we'll just have to <laughs> have to go get some more. Uh, yeah, so this episode, I'm going to make the Boots of the Traveller. Uh, and we need to make this recharge pedestal. Now this shouldn't be too bad. I think I've got all the stuff. So it should just be a matter of... Throw it together, which I think was nether quartz and iron plate makes the beast resonator. Then we're going to be short two diamonds, which easy. And was it two gold or one gold? One gold. And we need a couple of stone, which I don't actually have, so we'll grab some cobblestone. Yeah, this system, great investment, great investment. And this should be the three we need. Yeah, I think we needed some crystals as well. Ah, which we've got in there. Hey, recharge pedestal. The crest reward doesn't look like it. Now this uses a flux that's in a chunk to recharge your items. So I don't think we want to have it here where we've been. I mean, there's actually plenty here. Maybe we do want it. Ah, so there's the different chunk borders. So uh, yeah, I mean in the corner probably. And we should be able to grab our cloud stepper ring. Uh, ah, so potentially this doesn't uh, need charged, but here we go. Uh, apparently there's a bug currently where if your jump is conflicting with another button which activate impetus thruster so if we set this to nothing it still doesn't work oh there we go ah hey that's pretty cool hey nice right yeah so if your jump key is assigned to anything else as well it won't work so cool all right so we don't need to charge our our ring and i don't think we need to charge our boots there either but hey uh, we're going to use that recharge pedestal at some stage so the next thing i want to make are these boots of the traveler I need two air crystals and we'll have a spear on just in case uh Two enchanted fabrics, which we got some from our quest reward earlier. A feather and a fish, which I have some fish. Let's use a puffer fish. Ah, you guys are lucky. You guys are lucky. Okay, so if we want to make this dude, oh, we need leather boots as well. Luckily, we have some leather sitting over here. Okay, so leather boots go in the middle. Uh, then we have two crystals on the outside. I think these can go anywhere. Two of them, one of them, and... Uh, well, I guess I wanted to make this symmetrical. Does it matter if the ingredients aren't symmetrical? Uh, I don't think it does. I guess we'll find out. Cool, now we should definitely have enough stuff. We've got a... Uh, I only need a hundred of that and oh, it's already using that. Which there should be enough. There should be enough. Still very stable, so I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Oh hey, that's doing something. Cool. Oh, here we go. Nice. 
Nice. Now, these are... Uh, hey, these do need charged. Cool, so we can chuck these in here. And we actually should be able to see, like, the vis in the area going down. Yeah. Cool. Ah, potentia must be what it uses for energy. That's cool. So I don't know if it uses the negative flux that's in the area. But I think we can just move this pedestal around to different places. Cool, so that looks like that's as much as he's going to take. And it's a little bit... That's the same armor. Cool. We should now run faster. Ooh. Ooh, and we... <laughs> Ooh, we jump higher too. Oh, nice. That's real cool. Oh, it's even got the auto step up. Oh, beauty. Whoa. Hey, yeah, that's that's really cool. <laughs> oh yeah. And they look eh. <laughs> that caller in the inventory. Scanning all the things. Okay, so next, uh yeah, I don't know. I didn't thought this far ahead. I thought this was going to take longer. So we've got our Bitch of the Traveler. We've got our Cloud Sleeper Ring. I saw this. Uh, Workbench Charger. I mean, we might want to make this. We haven't done the research for that yet. I mean, actually, to be fair, it did say to follow the Thomodomicon for, for our quest. So it looks like we've... A blank advanced focus. Arcane infusion. Wait, is that with this dude? That is, right? Like these are made with arcane infusion? Yeah. Let me begin this research. Ah. Oh. Hey, so now we could do that. So this could be handy for doing some crafting. And it looks pretty simple. Uh, I don't think we've got any more air crystals, unfortunately. Because um, I know we turned most of whatever makes air got turned uh, into like air juice. That's air, right? Can we? Like, take it out of this jar and put it back in here. Yes, but you lose the jar. Well, the jars aren't too hard to make. So there's some air. Now, oh, because two air makes one crystal. But one air crystal only has one air. Oh, man, so we lost half of it doing that. Whoops. Okay, cool. I mean, to be fair, we had it in there, which is where we're going to craft the thing anyway. Dude. Alright. So let's make the workbench charger then. I don't think it's going to be particularly cool, but I think it could be handy once we start you know, finding recipes that need a bunch more of this stuff. So one of them... Two great wood planks. And that should be everything we need for this dude. Ooh, why can't we make him? Are we missing? Ah, I need another auto this. Oh, we got heaps. Nice. Ah, we don't have enough <laughs> these in the chunk. So that's interesting. There's heaps in this chunk though. Ooh. So I guess what we want to do is just move him. Like over here would be fine. Is this going to make a mess? Yep. So 
So here would be fine. Just until we get this done. Nice. And this just means that we can put him back where he was. And then... How do you put this dude on? Like that? Haha, <laughs> looks like it, because that's 1500 Vs, roughly. And do we have any more green? Let me get a bunch of green. Just keep that guy stocked up. Alright, what else we got in this book that we haven't done? Cool, okay, so it looks like we need more theories for all of this stuff. I mean, we can just... Ah, oh, even that's missing a theory. Okay, cool. What are we looking like in alchemy? Magic teller, I mean, let's do that one. Need... One Angus. And one zombie flesh. I mean, let's make... Let's make a few. Because I think that makes the candles, which we can use for increasing stability of our of our thing. Ooh, that... Yep. That just didn't do exactly what I wanted. That's cool. Uh, can we get more of... Yes, maybe buffing everything in there at once is a bad idea. And yeah, magic tell I can make candles. Which you can then die. I guess we should make some candles then. And these don't get used for anything else, do they? Nah. Just for doing this. So let's put them either side of the skulls we got. Now, I think there's a limit to how many of each color candle you can have, but I don't know. I don't know how it works. But I think this should be fine. All right, cool. What else we got in that book? So we've done that. Gunpowder, slime ball, ink sacks, and glowstone. We've probably... Got, I mean, maybe not slime. Yeah, slime's going to be harder to get because we don't have tinkers. If we found a slime, we could use the deep mob learning thing. All right, all right. Uh, so we'll say not that, not that quest. So this is a lamp that I think makes heaps of light sources around. So actually, kind of handy. And hey, that's easy. That's just iron plates, iron plates, and amber blocks. Oh yeah, let's let's try that out. So I'm sure we've got amber here, so let's get uh, not that many though. Twenty. And then we can turn these into Yeah. Uh and then these with Iron plates, which uh, to be fair, we probably need some more. Cool, and what? We can just chuck this dude somewhere and he, he's going to make light. How about there? I mean, nah, he looks cool. I'd like to be able to see him. Um, hmm, what about like. Either side there, just so it's symmetrical. I feel like that's unnecessary to have them that close, but yeah. And hey, let's even just chuck one over here somewhere. And then hey, I think we can get rid of like all these torches. And actually, it said the range was like 16 blocks, so that's not actually that far. <laughs> uh, but you could go, I don't know, here. You know, I guess we wait for night to see... Uh, See exactly what that does. I actually want to get this. Because this headband of curiosity turns experience that you get into knowledge, so you don't have to do as much of that research. 
So we just need an arcane confusion uh, theory thing. Now I wonder, can we chuck this dude like here? And then he can, oh, he doesn't pick up that. Whoops. <laughs> I think that's a bad one I possibly didn't want to get. And yet I try and do it again anyway. So a sticky piston. Uh, I don't think we got any slime at the moment. We've run out of paper. What? Well, I know we've got a lot of paper back at the base, but we don't have any sugar cane here. Oh yeah, how big are these lights? I mean, they're kind of good. They're kind of good. I suppose 16 blocks is only like... Uh, it should go further than it has. Uh, we'll, we'll keep it nighttime and we'll see what it does. Yes, we're still not using enough power, but uh, I'm sure we can fix that by the time we get into some more tech stuff. Now, I think I just want to chuck paper so we can get it from our system. Now, I keep clicking on these ones because I don't need stuff, but getting this Eldritch Knowledge and Warp is potentially bad. And... But it also sounds kind of cool, and it is kind of like in-game Thorncraft stuff, so... You might want to not <laughs> grab the, those those ones, but I'm going to grab them. Since you're in here, hey, we should have that. Whoops, got my Eldritch. So that's a questionable thing to do. Alright, I'm just going to do a few of these, and hopefully we get it. Alright. We did it. <laughs> I have to say, doing the research stuff is not my favorite part of Thorncraft. And this dude should help. So, this guy turns experience into knowledge. So we kill stuff and we get knowledge, so that sounds nice. Uh, yeah, so we need some books and quills, so I need some more feathers. Fancy belt, which that looks pretty easy to be fair. 150 cognito. I'm gonna assume that's that's like zombie brains. Yeah, let's see what we got. I think we should have enough emeralds. I've got bunches of junk uh, from doing different random bits of research. Yep, yep. This headband I think is gonna, gonna help the situation. I had to go kill Enderman to get this because I needed that purple circle thing as an alien us. Hey, we need those feathers. So, I forgot what I came over here for. Emeralds, which is probably in the system. And hey, we definitely got enough of them. So, uh, oh, I also want to make these paving stones of travel. They give you like a speed boost. So you can have like a path running between our bases and it should give us even more speed. I mean, that's like the perfect amount, but I know we'll lose some. That's 150, never mind. Uh, trap. Rat traps. Oh, they give you rat stuff. Oh, I needed rat stuff earlier. And it's like a really easy way to get heaps of it. Cool. So yeah, we can do that. Uh, this was easy. Uh, vacuous. I think that's like chests and stuff. So that syringe has three on it. That's pretty simple. Ah, glass jars. Glass bottles, I mean. That's pretty easy. Got a bunch of glass. I think I was cooking up. Yeah. Bunch earlier. I mean, let's start setting some of the stuff up. So four of them. Four books of quills. Ah, oh, that's like all the stuff we need for actual items. So that's cool. Uh, yeah, oh, it was four books and quills. Oh, nice. Wait, was it? Yeah. Nice. 
And then we just need this dude. And it's going to request any stuff we need, which is really handy. Oh, I also disabled the spawning of the Lumen glow, glow Bugs. So I left the mod on there, but yeah, I uh, got, rid of, got rid of the spawning because they were causing problems. Cool, and this will be enough jars to contain all the stuff we need. Cool, cool, cool. So we needed all the zombie brains. They got a bunch of stuff on them, but that's cool. And we probably won't get enough zombie stuff out of there, but that's fine. And we also needed... Uh, how much of that vacuous stuff? 50. So you think 10, but then we lose some. So if we went for like 13, might be enough. I'll just leave this guy to do his thing. And we'll hunt some zombies because we need some zombie brains. Oh. Ooh, rats. I've noticed a few of them uh, appearing around the place. They're pretty hard to catch, though. And yeah, hopefully we can hope that three zombie brains, potentially four zombie brains. Ooh, what was that? Oh, we got the plague. Nice. Thanks for the plague. Ah, even our, um... Our healing doesn't work. Oh, there's so many zombies. You can play for another five minutes. That's a long time. Hey, since we can't heal. Oh, I want that. Nice. Alright, now can I sleep? And we'll just hope the plague goes away soon. Right, so we ended up with 97 zombie brain. We definitely need more than that. We've also got some full jars. <laughs> yeah, let's get some more zombie brains, because we needed how much? 150. And we have 97. Hmm. Hey, this might be enough. Nice. Cool, that's more than enough. And uh, then we need that plague looking one. And let's fill up this dude. Cool, and then we needed a bunch of rat traps. Actually, let's do the glass vials. Now, I thought I might need like 13 of them. One. Ah, oh, here we go. We needed how much? Is it 50? 50. Nice, 52. Uh, we might grab a couple extra. <laughs> Just in case. Oh, and this does put bad flux in the area. Good to know, good to know. Yeah, now we need the rat trap ones, and whew, this thing's going to be good. 
And the plague's gonna be gone soon. Awesome. Ah, so we needed, needed, we needed rat traps. Now they need iron trapdoors. And one rat trap has 40 trap on it. Man, this has got a lot of junk on it. Uh, we're going to have to keep on top of that, otherwise we're going to lose some stuff. That's cool. And yeah, rat traps are like a really good way of getting trap and rat and death stuff. So, yeah, sure. And hopefully we get the trap stuff first. And we need 100 of it. Let's just get a jar ready. Because once that stops, I think we need to take it out because we're not going to have enough room for everything. Ooh, we got double going on. Cool, so there's all the trap stuff we need. We've got some rat stuff happening. Uh, death stuff we might have. I don't think we do have. Yeah, we need those automatic uh, tubes. Hey, wait, where did that go? Oops, that was not what I wanted to do. Cool, and that hand stuff can stay in there. All right, I think that's everything. So we've got all of this stuff. Um, got 50 void. Well, we've got 70 void. Let's move them closer. Just in case that matters. Uh, 50 void. 100 trap. Let's move him closer. In case it matters. And the brain stuff. So I think this should go now. I mean, unless we're low on something, but let's uh, actually. I mean, yeah, let's go. Still very stable. Uh oh. So the fact it dropped to stable is questionable. Ah, very stable. Okay. I think we're good. Yeah, I mean, I want it to work normally because I want the item, but at the same time, I kind of want to see what happens when uh, it becomes unstable. Drink, you can time in a bottle this. Oh, you definitely can. Let's not do it anymore. <laughs> oh, that definitely made it go faster. Hmm. I mean, it's still very stable. Uh -hoo. Hey, look at that. Awesome. And yeah, tick accelerating works. And a headband of curiosity. Nice. And I don't think this needs to be charged. Ah, oh, means we've got to... Oh, so we've got to swap out the baubles. Gives us a, a really cool looking thing. But alright, okay. So if we kill stuff, now we get knowledge instead of... We'll generate knowledge from experience. Okay, okay. I mean, we need to uh, harvest some cows. I do wonder if the type of mob you kill affects the type of knowledge you get. I mean, I don't know how you know if it's doing anything. Mm. 
Do we have to activate it? Okay, it's doing a little bit of googling. Apparently it's not a lot of experience. Like it's better if you have some sort of mob farm. Which we don't, which we don't. Uh, but that's cool, that's cool. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, what, what is this? Why do we have a rift? Why is there a rift in our base? Oh, it's gone. Oh, one of those things spawned. Dude. Oh, that's got a lot of health. Uh, heal, 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 heal. I wonder if that was just because we crafted that stuff. Well, I've got the perfect solution. Which health you got? Because I kind of... I hit you with a looting sword. Oof, you do a lot of damage. Okay, cool. Hey, give me that back. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know why I generated another one of them. Maybe... I mean, I did shift like a couple of things just straight to the air, so yeah, maybe that was it. Maybe that was it. That's entirely possible. Well, guys, we've done some, uh, some more runic infusion crafting stuff we've got our boots of the traveler and our headband of knowledge which is going to give us research when we kill stuff so hopefully we have to do less research because that bit's kind of boring it's not my favorite bit at all but next episode uh, maybe more thorncraft i don't know we'll see what happens we'll see what happens i kind of need to work on some of my base infrastructure at some point like an actual storage system uh, maybe setting up some more logistics pipe stuff, maybe setting up some, like, just Ender, uh, Ender IO machines or mechanism machines. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. But hey, this has been Classic Duff. You've been watching the episode. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.